Hi Melanie, I'm so happy to be here. Hi Claire, I'm so happy to have you. And so happy and honoured that you participated in Oh my book. goodness, thank you for including me. It's, it's a beautiful book. Thank you so much. And um, I thought of you, obviously, I follow you for, you know, it's been years now, I admire your work and uh, your approach. You have a mm. holistic approach, mm. uh, which is my approach here when I work with my clients yes, in Paris. Yes. And I was wondering, I really, I uh, got curious on how you got into this holistic approach. I think if you work with skin well enough, you know, it becomes really apparent that it's so much more than just a topical product or a treatment or, you know, it's really for some people, it's um, the skin is out, it's, it's, it's an indicator of our health. So okay. when, when there's issues, internal issues, it can absolutely show on our yeah. skin. So things like diet, stress levels, um, lack of sleep, all of these things, hormones especially, yeah. um, can all uh, show up in the skin. It does. So, so you have to, you know, if you're really, if you're doing a good job and you're kind of, and with, with looking up to clients, I think it's more for me, education is really important because yeah. it's still, there's so many people that don't realize that what they eat can affect their skin mm -hmm. or, yeah. um, and it's more about finding the cause, you know, you can treat the symptoms, but you're going to be treating and treating over and over, you need to kind of find what's causing and can the issue. Hiding. The, yeah, the you're masking completely, exactly. completely. Yeah. completely. Yeah. So the skin, you know, it's, a, it's one of its biggest jobs to show us, so you know, it, it, mm. it's an indicator of our internal health. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. And I find it really fascinating sometimes, you know, people come to me also for just simple protocols, skin yes. protocols, yes. and I would put in their protocol, like, simple meditation uh, exercises yeah. to do at home, or like, you know, breathing exercises, some, you know, those kind of things. Yes. And in the beginning, they're really, you know, surprised and they don't really want to do it. They want, you know, the external, like, protocol. Completely. Uh, but I know there's something deeper. For some people, I know it's like, it's so essential for them to start doing yes. it. If they want to yes. do it properly, you know. Well, yeah, they need to, and they need to believe it as well. They need to believe some it. Some people, it's like, you know, it's yes. easier just to, to sure. use a cream or do a quick laser treatment. Exactly. Or, it's the quick fix. Exactly. Exactly. So it's convenient for them. Which is, you know, human nature. Sometimes exactly. we're always quick fix. <laughs> but I think Honestly. as well, you know, we're becoming more educated about yeah. health and wellness. And there's, a, I think, a really, um, it's a huge wellness movement at the moment. People, True. you know, I think with the internet as well and social yeah. media, people are becoming far more um, knowledgeable. Yeah. Our own health, for sure. Yeah. How did you get into it? What made you so passionate? Into about skincare? It? Yeah. Or do you know? I straight out of school. It was the. It's the only job I had. <laughs> um, I, you know, I think it was probably a combination of things. You know, I went for. I decided. I. I kind of. I had a facial at like 13, 12 probably with my mum when I first went away to school. Yeah. Um, and I decided then that you know it was a really super glamorous esthetician, you know, a beautiful spa, and I thought that's what I wanted to do. But I also I was burnt as a child in a house fire. Yeah. And it's really funny because we were always looking for I was always thinking of, you know, like things that I could do for my scars or the hobby. So I think that triggered an interest in skin. Yeah. Um, but I I loved beauty as well, and it was just yeah, I kind of straight out of school. That was the only yeah. only thing I wanted to do, and I think it's simple or it's easier to stay in this business because it's always changing. You know, this industry is always evolving, and you have to learn new things to keep up. So it's not if I was doing the same treatments that I was doing twenty years ago, mm. then I probably wouldn't be doing it anymore. You know, sure. it's a real. So there's that aspect, and then um, my clients. You know, you get to really connect with people every day. And it's, yeah. it's really nice. You know, you would have that as well. That's what I love the best too, right? Yeah. And I can see you now when someone's so passionate about yeah. what they're doing mm -hmm. and it becomes a pleasure to just, you know... Um, well, it doesn't feel like work, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've been talking about some products mm -hmm. that you love. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I would love to have your approach on the acne uh, prone skin. Mm -hmm. And what you can do, like just simple things, the first things to do when... I mean, I think it's really important to find the cause. You know, is it hormonal? Is it um, diet related? Um, I think a lot of people, you know, gut issues can cause breakouts and blemishes as well. Is there inflammation? Is it, um, is it stress? You know, stress is it's amazing the impact that stress can have on our on our health and internal our skin. One. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So I think it's like you know investigating and trying to find the yeah. cause. 
Um, you know, keeping it simple. I think with acne, you need to be really careful not to use, and it's easy to because I think there's a real desperation, you know, to try and to it's try so and emotional. make something. It's so emotional. It's so emotional that yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, I see, but you know, clients they're using twenty different products, and then yeah. that can cause further inflammation and further problems. You know, so you need to be very careful what you're applying. Um, you know, be careful of, of certain you know um, super occlusive products, and yeah. uh, I think there's a lot of promotion of you know, oils for acne and skin, mm. working on the, on the philosophy when like attracts like, so it's going to be sure. oils, but not oil, all oils are mm. the same as well. So being super discerning with the products that you're using, I would stick to, you know, a really a great cleanser. Yeah. I think salicylic acid is fantastic for treating acne, like a great BHA because it's um it's oil soluble, so it, it cuts through the sebum, you know, it penetrates the pore. Yeah. Um, I love retinol, so vitamin A I think is fantastic for acne as well. But being careful not to overtreat and not to avoid hydration as well. You know, I think a lot of people don't moisturize, and your body will compensate by producing more oil. So you need to keep the skin hydrated, and to remember there's a difference between being oil dry and water dry. So if you're oily, it doesn't mean that you're that you can't be dehydrated. If that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. And these girls are often doing too much and being aggressive with their skin. And then not hydrating either. And worse. Yeah. And yeah. Worse. So it becomes worse. a very vicious cycle. You exactly. know, exactly. diet's really important. I think sometimes, you know, I've seen um, clients have great success with, you know, removing dairy, for yeah. example, or, you know, following an anti inflammatory diet. So it might be cutting. Um, gluten and alcohol and coffee yeah. and all of those things. I think have a huge impact. So huge much. impact. Yeah. You can see it sometimes from one week to another. Completely. Like it just calms the inflammation. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, so it's all, you know, you need to treat yeah. the inside yeah. as well as the outside. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And so talking about the anti inflammatory diet. Yes. I know you're also really, you know, careful about what you eat and everything. Yes. I obviously. I try eat, to be. I obviously I also eat, you know, yeah. it's the veggies, it's the fat fish. Yeah. And, all yeah. that omegas and you know we we know the base of it yeah but then i mean how do you find your balance because obviously we want to have our wine we want to have our chocolate or whatever so do what, you, how do you think about that when you i think, think you have to live as well but you know everything in moderation i don't have the discipline to not eat you know to not have, i love red wine i love to have a glass of wine i enjoy with my, my friends yeah. or um or to have a piece of chocolate i love dark chocolate which i think is actually has yeah. nutritional benefit anyway I tell myself that um, but I think there's got to be moderation because the more you focus too much as well on food and I've been there where it's become a real you know so strict and so disciplined but um, then you, I think you become more stressed and, and, and miserable to be honest I think you need to have moderation if you know once you learn how to eat properly I don't I don't crave for you know fast food or processed foods or you know anything like that I think when you eat well and good food and keep it simple it's amazing and it's yeah. more of a lifestyle it's not just a diet for six weeks or yeah. you know to to um as a panacea for acne or you really need to um a glass of wine once or twice a week i think is fine yeah. but you know choose a really nice organic you know exactly. preservative free red wine if you can you know moderation you have balance. to have balance yeah completely yeah. completely so I'm kind of like you, my guilty pleasure is the red wine. Yeah. We're in Paris. No, yeah, so I, know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's so difficult to go out and not have that super absolutely. nice glass Absolutely, but I think you know, keeping it in moderation, you're not having yeah. like 10 glasses, do you know? Exactly. That's the, and having water at the same time. Or exactly. I just came back from Spain and Portugal. And yes. I did have too much wine and too much chocolate. Yes. So I'm so happy you're going to save my face. I know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get so we're going to have a treatment. Yes. yes, yes. I'm excited. I'm trying a lot of treatments yeah. all the time. I never tried your treatment. And oh, well, I'm so happy to be here. Finally. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No, no. no. I think your, like, your skin's beautiful, so we'll do something. So we're gonna yes. we're gonna talk about it later. Yeah, gonna, yeah, it's like, amazing. A little bit what we did. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Let's cool. do it. Hi, Melanie. <laughs> okay. okay. That's fine. Um, a suit, ironic. I can't say it. Talk, talk, talk. Would you still finish this? We don't even finish that.